Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on a mission to make sure that everybody in this world knows that that next level is waiting for you. You can become that person you wanted to be when you were 10, 11, and 12. You don't have to let your reality take over and all of a sudden you live this normal life. You don't want to have a normal life. Why well, have a job and just be normal? Why well, have a company and just be average? I'm telling you, you should be on a mission to get to that next level. Ladies and gentlemen, you got the job, but that's not enough. Don't relax. Don't settle. You got to get bigger, stronger, and faster. You got to get better. You got to make sure your work ethic, getting that job is just the beginning. That's not the end. You want to live your dreams. You want to have your goals. You want to get to that next level, ladies and gentlemen. You want to take trips. You want to have a nice house. You want to have a nice car. You want to know powerful people so your kids can have access and their lives can be easier than yours. You are beginning a legacy and your job is not just take your career to the next level. Your job is to take your family to the next level so your kids are better positioned than you were. So when I go and speak, I'm all about the next level. When I coach executives, I'm all about the next level. You have to master fundamentals. You have to have a good vision. You have to make sure your mindset is right. You have to make sure you understand how to operate in a team. But most importantly, you have to be accountable. We live in a world where people lack accountability. That's why my best-selling book, All But Stink, is so popular. It's how to live your best life and eliminate excuses. Because until any of us own our situation, until we become accountable, we are all crippled by our own excuses that we believe are real. A lot of people get to certain levels based on talent alone. But your next level is not about talent. Your next level is about getting there on purpose. It requires work ethic. Your next level requires you to get the right mindset. Your next level requires you to get connected to the right people. We can all get to the next level, but first we gotta get them, get them out of our own way. I mean, I have excuses, and the excuses are crippling. And most people don't even realize that they are operating in excuses, which means you're operating in a state less than. Why be a C student for the rest of your life when we all can be A students? But it requires certain fundamentals that we must master. The biggest mistake any of us make is getting comfortable. The worst thing you want to do is get comfortable in a place you don't want to be. I mean, you might be making 80,000, but are you comfortable? And you know you should be making 150. You might make 150 and you're comfortable, you should be making 350. You got a little small company, a little small town, but you are comfortable when you really should be a regional player. You really should be operating on a global landscape. The biggest mistake that we can make lately is getting comfortable in a place you don't want to be. You know what, people don't really understand why I'm so passionate about helping people get to their next level until they hear my story. You know, I was a high school star. I just thought I was born to do great things. You know, I'm a typical kid. You know, we all stuck in front of class in the third grade and fourth grade and said what we were going to be when we grew up. You know, I was no different than any other student. Everybody in the world did that, right? It was like an exercise we all did. So my message was, I'm going to play pro sports, and when I'm done playing pro sports, I'm going to make more money in business than I did in sports. And everything was going on fine, until when I got to college, I found myself sitting on the bench. A high school stud, basically becoming a scrub sitting on the bench. And I'll never forget, all of a sudden, I recalibrated my dreams and goals. And my father called me on the phone, and this was a dream. He asked me a question that really changed my life. He said, son, you don't play. Why not? But I gave him what I thought was my truth. I gave him what I thought was my reality. Only to find out now, it was an excuse. I said, dad, you know, politics. Yeah, it's political. My father said, what? He said, son, if you can help that coach win, you can play. Go back and do what you said you were going to do. And all of a sudden, I got reconnected to that little kid on the inside of me who had dreams and goals and getting to that next level. I went to my coach and I said, Coach, what do I need to do to play in the NBA? See, in many cases, sometimes we get stuck, we get stagnant, and we lose that fire and that passion because we forgot our vision, we forgot our goals, we forgot our dreams, and all of a sudden, reality takes over. All of a sudden, circumstances take over. Ladies and gentlemen, I had to up my game. 
I had to start working hard, right? I stole the key from a manager and I would go into the arena at midnight and work on my game, work on my left hand, work on my right hand. I got fundamentally sound. All of a sudden, I began to realize that I gotta get better. I'm not just good enough. And I began to confuse my potential with who I was at the time. That might be the biggest mistake that people make around the world. They confuse their potential with who I was at the time. People get hired based on their potential, but your work ethic is what's going to make you a vice president. Your work ethic is going to make sure that you become a CEO. Being fundamentally sound in marketing and selling and customer service, I became fundamentally sound and I made it to the NBA. And before I knew it, I got cut because I realized that all I wanted to do was to get there. I had no vision to be an impact player. All of a sudden, when my career ended, I had no money coming in. And I was starting over from scratch. But there was a difference. I knew what it took to be the best in the world. I sat down with the speaker, who was a Hall of Fame speaker, and I said, what do I need to do to become a Hall of Fame speaker like you? And at this breakfast, I did not have enough money to pay for it. And he told me what I needed to do to get to the next level. And I did it. So here I am. It's the Hall of Fame induction. And another speaker came up to me and said, you know what, aren't you excited? You're getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I looked in her eye and I said, you know what, Miss, I am very excited. But this time, I expected to be here. This time, I knew exactly what it took to get to that next level. All I want people to know is that they can get 10% better every single year. If we get 10% better every single year, in five years, we won't notice you. In five years, you won't notice your own bank account. You won't notice your own career. You will get bigger, stronger, and faster. You will get more effective. You will get promoted. You'll drive more revenue. But ladies and gentlemen, next level is about purpose. Next level is about understanding what it takes to get there. I want to miss you. Because if I can get to that next level in two different industries, I know that I got a message for the whole world. And I have the information that I can teach to make sure that anyone could have that dream come true that they had their third grade class, that they had their fourth grade class. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't quit. Don't take reality. I'm telling you, that dream that you had way back then can become true. And it can become your reality.